basketball. Bloomington, Indiana will be the hotbed for college basketball action tonight as two traditional powers, Indiana and Kentucky, meet head-on in Hoosierland. Ron Franklin and Dick Vitale are in Bloomington to call tonight's game, and they have these pre-game pronouncements. Gentlemen. Thanks, Tom Meese. Tonight we're in the great state of Indiana. We're in Bloomington at Assembly Hall as number 18. The Kentucky Wildcats come calling against the number six ranked Hoosiers of Indiana. Hi, everybody. Ron Franklin along with Dick Vitale. Border Wars. Yeah, a lot of states like to say they have them. I happen to think these two states have a really great one, particularly in basketball. And also, don't buy the thing where the coaches say, this is not important. We're waiting for the conference race. Do you buy that? I don't buy it at all, Ron. There's no way in the world. You've got to believe that this game is important to Bobby Knight and certainly to Rick Pitino. You better believe Bobby Knight is saying, Mr. Pitino, you can't beat us on our living room floor. We won't let it happen. And you've got to believe that Mr. Pitino says, we're going back to Lexington with the W. You. All right, it is hard to be a legend before you've even arrived someplace, but that was the case with Damon Bailey, the young uh, freshman. How has he handled the situation, in your opinion, Dick? I think he's really done well. When you think about all the publicity and the notoriety he's received, averaging nine points a game, certainly he's not the spectacular athlete, but he's a good shooter, he's an excellent passer, and he's starting to think right now a little bit more aggressively offensively. Remember this, this young man came to Indiana, ballyhooed as Mr. Superstar, and the reason, very simply, scored over three thousand points in his high school career he had so much publicity it's unreal but let me tell you this before his career is over he will be a college standout well down in lexington kentucky their favorite song is the monster mash because of a young fella uh by the name of mashburn who was playing high school basketball just this time last year jamal mashburn from out of new york city certainly was a great player on a high school level in new york city but didn't get the great publicity and the notoriety right now to me if i had to pick my all diaper dandies the five best freshmen in america you better believe the name mashburn will appear the monster mash they love him in lexington kentucky okay gentlemen back at sports center we had a great day it snowed we're ready for christmas we got a great basketball game and i didn't make him drink decaf today charlie and tom let's go back to you at sports center <laughs> all right 